Bees learn art of telling Picasso from Monet. You may find it hard to believe, but honeybees have an eye for art. In tests, the insects show remarkable ability to distinguish a Monet from a Picasso. And we are now trying to investigate what the actual cues are, how they figure out what is a Picasso and what is a Monet. The experiments were carried out to discover more about how bees search for food, but they could shed light on human appreciation of art. The scientists at the University of Queensland in Australia began by teaching the bees to associate either an abstract Picasso or an impressionistic Monet print with a sugary reward, which was placed inside a hole behind one of the paintings for each experiment. Then we showed them novel ones, ones that they had never seen before, and they could even distinguish those. Importantly, the bees couldn't tell which painting contained the food until they were inside it, meaning had to choose the right painting to get the sugar. It's something that we can understand and we can process and we can recognize, but to actually um, tease apart what makes a particular style is very difficult to articulate. In many ways, it's not surprising that this research is being done here in Australia. It's the only country in the world not affected by this mystery ailment which has affected bees right around the planet. In some countries, it's killed around 60% of the entire honeybee population. The bees learned to tell up to five different pairs of paintings apart, even when presenting with pairs of pictures in black and white. Because of this, the researchers believe that the bees learned how to recognize a painting underlying structure or the artist's style. They didn't believe the bees were attracted by the smell of the sugar. The scientists concluded the human brain might use the same technique for discerning different types of art. Dr. Nigel Rain, an animal behavior expert at the Royal Holloway University of London, said, This helps us understand how bees learn the differences in appearances of the flowers.